Hello everyone. We will continue the topic background jobs. And in the previous video, we defined a background job through SM36. We checked the status through SM37. And yes, we run the job immediately. Yes. And we are able to check the output of the background job through spool in SM37 transaction code. Now what we will do, now rather than running the job immediately, we will run on specific date and time. And this is project, project in projects. Our jobs always run at specific date and time. Yes, same thing now we will run. We will go for SM36 transaction code. I will give some name to the background job. Suppose this time I will go for PG job underscore two. I will go for job classification as A only. Suppose this is also a high priority job. So system will reserve the background processes. System will reserve the work processes for this particular job as it is a high priority job. Now you can click on to save button or you can click on to step. It is totally your wish. In the previous video, I showed you through save button. Now I showed you through step button. Suppose I will go for steps. Now we need to give the program name for which program we are going for background job. So I'm passing same to same program and language is English. I will go for save. I will go to back button. Now many people think this is the most common mistake that our background job is scheduled. In the previous video, I clicked on to save button and then pop up open, but we got the message at that point of time, background job is scheduled. We have not got any message. It means our job is not scheduled as of now. You can check in SM37 itself. This is the most common mistake which we will do. Getting the message is compulsory. Suppose if I am writing here PG job underscore two and I will simply check the execute. There is no job as of now in SM37. Go for save. Once you go for save, now you are able to see the message. This is the clear identification that but our job is scheduled or not. Now our job is scheduled. I, I will click on to execute. Now we are able to see our job and what is the status scheduled. Now I will click on to start condition. Now Previously, we run the job immediately. Now we will specify the date and time. So I will click on to date and time. I will choose today's date only because I need to show you in this video itself. So I will choose today's date only. Today is 31st and I will choose the time two to three minutes extra or based upon current time because I need to show you in this video itself. So I will take that time plus two or three minutes based upon the current time. If I want to check the current time, what is the current time of the system? How I can check system status. As of now, it is 11.13. Suppose I will go for 11.16. Suppose I will run this job at 11.16. So that I can show you in this video itself. So 11.16 PM. Now, suppose it will be a periodic job. Means it will run at regular intervals. And in the real project, 
you will schedule a background job so it will run at regular intervals regular interval means it will run daily weekly monthly so we have to decide that also suppose you are saying it is a periodic job but you have not given the period so if you click on to save button system will give you error specify a repetition period so i will specify the period values you can go for hourly daily weekly monthly obviously i will go for other period because i want to show you in this video itself suppose the frequency of the job is after one minute means after one minute this job will repeat i will go for save save i will go for save now people think the status of the job is done to released no we have not clicked on to save button if you see as of now status is scheduled only do not forget to save if i will save you can see now the status is released released and released status is compulsory because in that status only you are giving the start condition if i will not say that this is the start date start time or immediate how a job will run yes if i will simply click on to refresh button now you can see you are able to see the release status previously you were not able to see the release status because it was immediately immediately means released after that the job finished but now we are able to see released status also now once i will refresh this job will run at what time 11:16 11:16 is the starting time and this job will run and you will see after few seconds the status of the job will be done to finished finished if i will refresh when 11:16 will come and yes you will be able to see the status as finished and yes after that this job will repeat after every one minute i will show you that entry also i will check the system time what is the system time as of now it's 11:16 there is a delay okay have you seen the job is finished 11:16 yes but now the question comes why why we got one more entry for released just see you decided the frequency that this job will run after every one minute so we got the finish entry but we got one more entry and this will also convert to finish after one minute and we got one more entry for the release status one more entry one more entry because we told yes this is a repetitive job and it will run after every one minute itself if i want to check the job log of this i can simply select i can select the job check the job log i can simply simply check the output through spool also now you can see if i will check the spool this is the output now in between i think one minute is over so it will also convert to finish status i will check now you can see finish and we got one more entry for the released now most important part i did the practical you will also do the practical in your system but do not do not if because what i told that this is a repetitive job after every one minute and i told the priority as a a whatever the system administrator is there he will simply simply ask to me okay there is too much load on the system because you reserve a work process for this particular job so it's a request yes 
if you are doing for learning process after this please 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 review uh, please delete your background job or simply change it to scheduled suppose if i will refresh you can see if i will not delete this background job what will happen if tomorrow i will check the system there will be so many entries into the system in a hour this background job will run for 60 times tomorrow if i will check this job will run will automatically 1500 times so if you are doing for learning purpose yes please please delete your background job how to do that you can simply this is your current release status you can select you can delete this is one option or if you do not want to release if you do not want to delete sorry no problem select and go for your job and just change the status to scheduled once you change the status to scheduled it means what job will not run if a job to run we need to simply pass the start condition whenever we want to run the job we will pass the start condition and the status will change to release so it's a request to all of you do not give unnecessary load to the system because you will also learn through periodically job and you will give that time suppose five minutes ten minutes one minute do the practice no problem but after that either delete your background job yes whatever is in the release status or do one thing because in the future you might want to run the job again do one thing select your job which is in the release status which is running at that point of time just change it to schedule once you will change it to schedule yes it will not run because the job to be a run we need to give the start condition means this job will run at what particular date or time because after that only the status will change to release and if we want a job to run we need to firstly firstly the status of the job should be released so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we studied so many important things we created a background job we scheduled a background job on a date and time you can give you can give the frequency of the job you can give it as a periodic job you can decide it will be weekly monthly hourly we gave one minute and yes once that time came we are able to see the status scheduled released then we are able to see the status finished then the job finished but yes if you are going for periodic job please it's a request because you are doing for practice purpose please please change the status of your job to scheduled so that it will not run again once you do the practice change it to schedule or if you want to delete you can go for delete also select your job and delete so it will not run in the next video we will simply simply go for variant in background jobs so that's it in this video thank you